Hello, everybody. Yes, I know. I'm a bit late to this. I was, uh, I had to go out of town because, uh, reasons. I'm not gonna tell you why, but, yes, I had to go out of town for, like, a week and a half. Yeah. Actually, literally the day of I had to leave, or the day before I had to leave, I actually had a video planned, uh, I was working on about, uh, who potential teammates of these next KOF characters are. I'm still gonna post that. I'm gonna post it tomorrow. But, uh, this one basically, I, I think it's confirmed one of my ones. I, I, it's Kukuri right here. I, I bet, I bet you'll never guess who I think, whose team Kukuri's on. I, I don't think there's gonna be a shattering episode tomorrow. Uh, one, I have homework, and two, uh, Chris has yet to respond to, uh, me asking him if he wants to do a shattering this weekend, so I'm assuming he's still out. That's that. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, by the way, this number of you, uh, are not subscribed to my channel. Thank you. I'm Siren Richardson. This is Kukuri's trailer. Let's fucking watch this shit because I've been waiting too long. Oh. He has earrings. Kukuri. Alright. A bunch of EX moves. Well, they ruined that one. Alright. Damn, this sand effect's looking nice. Damn. Okay. Damn. Okay, that was... I, I like Kukri quite a bit. Not just because of the trailer, but I liked it, uh, liked him before. Um, his intro's pretty neat. Okay, so... Kukri is a character I like quite a bit in KLF 14. Also the boss in SK Heroines. For whatever reason. And that game's canon. For whatever reason. But, um... Well, actually, we all know the reason, but it's funny if I, if I say for whatever reason. Um, he's back. I wonder what all the female characters are going to have to say to him. Probably not much good, but he's he's returned from the previous game. I think he's kind of fun. I might have to relearn some of his stuff, or more accurately, learn some of his stuff. Kind of like how I learned some of the Antonov stuff, but yeah. Not to be blabbering on, let's see what else we got here. So, he comes in, fucks up the camera. We get a relatively not half bad look at his face. Like, obviously it's all covered in shadow, but he's wearing ear rings. And it looks like he has, like, hair. Well, obviously he has hair, because he has a little braid at the back. Definitely... I can kind of see what he kind of looks like. I give you a hint. But he, his outfit, looking literally the same, but, you know, way better. Just because of the graphical update. His hair is like full white now, back there. Like, instead of it being, like, blonde, it's just full white. Like, instead of it being slight blonde, it's just full white now, is what his hair is. Look at this bandages. Holy crap, do you see that detail on these things? Sand. 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 Good old food. Um, this design is very basic, obviously, but it's good, actually. 
That, I think that's a new CD, if I remember correctly. At least for his aerials. The EX version of his Fireball. Uh, it's a weird flying axe kick you can do, both in the air and on the ground. This weird sand tatsu. Just teleport. I know, I'm very delayed, I know. They redid his voice line and it sounds not nearly as good. Or how he did sound. He's talking to Anthony, but I didn't even catch that part. I can't tell well, if you can just do that in the air now, or if he just did that from the ground and he does the jump up in the air still. If you can do it from the air, you might have been able to do the last game, I don't know. But if you can do it from the air now, that's pretty cool. The sand effects look even better in this game. Not that they looked bad in the last game. They look they looking pretty clean. They look a bit more muddy, but it kind of fits Kukri, to be honest. Another EX Sand Tatsu Sand Spray on his. You know, I don't even know what to call that thing. It has a name. I could probably put it up on screen. Um, but yeah. Damn. Fireball. On landing into his weird sand psycho pressure thing. All those like a man normals kind of string together into his single crazy max mode combo kit. Another sand tatsu into his climax super, which I'm pretty sure is literally the exact same from the last game. They could have changed it. There could be a different ending. It looks cool though. I remember Maximilian did saying he's kind of awkward to play. I don't have yet to actually play him at a relatively okay level. But, I don't know, he seems on the same par of awkwardness as like Raiden. He's not horrible, but like still figure out some of the stuff. He's not like a long character. I, I do like him quite a bit. His weirdness definitely draws me more to him. Well, his weirdness not in the way so many Paula Paula is weird, but you get what I mean. His overall bizarreness? Yeah, his bizarreness. I know bizarre and weird are basically the same thing, but you get what I'm saying. It's looking cool. Uh, I'm tired. Uh, I'll see you all in the next one. Have a great night or day, wherever the hell you are. And make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And turn on the notification bell if you feel like it. I ain't gonna tell you what to do. But man, if you want to, you can. It's an option. Anyway, bye-bye. I'm tired.